I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 USSAT non calculator section. College Board is giving us a system of inequalities, and they usually give us at least one of these on each SAT. They're asking for the point that's a solution. In general, when they're asking for a specific point as a solution of a system of inequalities, it's easier to just plug in your answer choices rather than to try to solve algebraically. So if I try the point 1, 1, is 1 less than negative 1? No. So it fails my second inequality. Choice A is not correct. Let's try negative 2, negative 2. Is negative 2 less than minus negative 2, which is positive 2? Yes. Is negative 2 greater than 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8? Also yes. So choice B would be our correct answer. Just for thoroughness, let's try the other two. Choice C, y equals negative 3. Is that less than neg the negative of positive 3? Negative 3 is equal to negative 3. It's not less than, so choice C does not work. And choice D, y equals 4. Is that less than the negative of negative 4, which is 4 less than 4? No, they're equal again. So choice B is the only answer that works, and that's probably the fastest way of solving. Alternatively, I can graph this. Sketching the graph y greater than 4x, y equals 4x, is a line through the origin with a steep positive 4 slope, and y greater than is everything above that. y less than negative x, well, y equals negative x is a line for the origin with slope negative 1, and I want y values less than that, so that's the points below. The area that was shaded both times is over here. So that is x has to be negative. I just ruled out choices A and C, and then I have to figure out choices B and D. Quadrant 3, negative 2, negative 2 looks from my sketch like it works. Quadrant 2, x equals negative 4, y equals positive 4 is actually a point on this line, but I have to check algebraically to verify that. I can't see it directly from just a sketch since I don't have graph paper on the SAT. I prefer plugging in the points to see which one works, but the graphical approach can speed up plugging in the points if it's something that's difficult to plug in. In any case, we do have multiple approaches, as we often do with SAT. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.